Good morning. I am Jim. And I am Ryan. From TPK here on Woodsuit Riot. And we are, because Arkham Origins isn't out yet, we are playing Arkham City and talking about nerd things. As we do. Yeah. Specifically, um, I and Ryan, Ryan and I, I don't speak English, not while I'm being Batman. Batman is beyond things like English. Batman speaks Batman's English. It's True. like the Queen's English, but with more bat things in it. Yes. Uh, like the gonna, Bat Palace. I'm going to jump to this Bat Gargoyle. And, no, we want to talk about uh, how this applies to tabletop gaming. So, powerful PCs and stealth is broken, which I think is going to be our first thing, because I'm going to totally take all these guys out. Yeah, that, that seems uh, about right. Or die trying, which is a good possibility. Well, not a good possibility. This is an easier difficulty setting well. than... Normal. Man. I did finish the game on hard, but I, uh, I haven't played it in months, and I don't want to embarrass myself or Batman in this video. And it's not All a guarantee right. that that won't happen. So, we'll but see. yeah, my my contention is that stealth is always broken, no matter what. It is it is not possible to have something be stealthy. Without it either being broken or meaningless, which I guess would mean that it's not always broken, but it is usually broken. Because you always have the ability to assault your opponent from the greatest advantage while they have the greatest disadvantage. For example, right now, they have all the advantage on account of they have guns, and I am not Superman. Fortunately for me, I am Batman. It's okay. Let's have a moment. Oh, hug it out. Hug it out. Shh. Daddy's got you. I just noticed your thumb went through his face yeah, in that yeah. particular it's shot. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's um. It's comfy. It's a standard takedown technique yeah, yeah, yeah. that he learned from, well, as I said earlier, Black Panther, but no, Wildcat. Because apparently oh, both universes need a guy in a black cat suit. Yes, black hat suits are important. In fact, this universe has more than one person in a black hat suit. That's true. And more people that are just in cat suits as well. I mean, there's Catman out there. Catman is awesome. Catman is awesome. New Catman is awesome. Anyway, stealth. Yeah, we're also going to talk about nerd things because that's kind of how we roll. Uh, I mean, as I'm picking off these guys, I am uh, getting shot in the face. So, that's an example of stealth not working. Well, okay, but but the I mostly mean, because of that was that was not error. a failure of stealth. That was a failure of oh god, oh god, the the, the bullets. <laughs> it's not good, not good. No, no, that's not where I wanted to be. All right. Anyway, as I'm doing this, because I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tase this guy because I think he's the last one on the roof. I'm also gonna get a detection vision. Anyway, what as I was saying, um, <laughs> it's hard to concentrate while he's doing this fun dance. But, uh, yeah, it's the Don't Taze Me Bro. Um, it'll be uh, hitting all the clubs uh, this summer, which has just passed. But, no, I mean, stealth in, in a lot of games, it's, it's I mean, it's fun. Like, games like Mark of the Ninja, even games, games like Arkham City, make stealth really interesting and really fun. But as soon as you integrate it with a party of people who, say, some of whom are less than stealthy because they were a full plate, or it, just our fire breathing cats. Or fire or our fire breathing cats, they it stops working um, in a meaningful way because now your your stealth character has to stop and wait for everybody to keep up, or they have to separate from the group, which it, in, involves a, a huge amount of risk uh, or no risk if they have no chance of being caught. And neither of these, I think, are are unfortunately still really sort of good in a in a mixed party game and I mean you want to have a mixed party game because a party of all stealthy characters just avoids all challenges yeah they're, they're going to get that you know magic crown back from the dragon quite easily because the dragon never knew that they were there also the dragon is now poisoned for all time I don't know what's happening here um, um, Batman seems to be <laughs> stuck in midair maybe he is Superman oh, oh no he's on the ground I know first aid it's fine Oh, or that First aid, whack to the back of the head, fine line. Yeah, either or. Yeah, we're, we're not paramedics. <laughs> no, not by a long shot. But, yeah, I mean, I guess that, that sums up the, the core of, of the issue, is that 
with stealth, you're either you're you're and it's binary. You're either hidden or you're not. Ooh, we found a Catwoman point. We're totally gonna switch to being Catwoman. A character who actually benefits more from the stealth than Batman does. Yes, I am totally going to use stealth as Catwoman. Um, oh, I guess I don't have to do anything right now. I have never actually switched to Catwoman from one of these points. Oh. I, I always did it in the story, and then I just sort of wandered off because I was busy getting collectibles. And I know she has her own stuff and blah, blah, blah. But Catwoman, we're not going to talk about the whole ridiculously hypersexualized thing because I think that that is a, a problem for another day, definitely. But yeah, regardless... Might have to come back to that one at yeah, some point. No, we're just going to talk about stealth. That guy doesn't have a gun. Awesome. So, yeah, Catwoman can do a lot of the same things as Batman in this game. It's not dissimilar the way that they, the two play, but you always feel just a little bit squishier with Catwoman as opposed to Batman. I don't know that I have that problem. I mean, I like the counters. But well, counters are good. I mean, you need her to stealth, remember her how stealth to stun that guy, by the way. Oh, God. Oh, is it the whip? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think it's the whip. The whip does the stun. Yeah, we're terrible at this game, by the way. Or at least I am. Um, no, I'm just gonna run it. Run it it's been a while since I've played this, and also I don't play on PC, so. Um, but no, I think in games like Dragon Age, where the stealth is just totally useless. And even in D&D, &D, it's sort of middlingly useful. I mean, if you can sneak by something that's great but if you have to sneak you have to sneak a group of what four to five to seven people buy something that is not easy and it generally just doesn't work someone is going to make noise and that's no i think that's fine i as the gm love it when p when, when pcs make too much noise well yeah it works great for us because at that point we can just reestablish the challenge as it was going to happen anyway yeah but i mean i think it's a real challenge for for playing a rogue type character and focusing on on stealth i mean as opposed to using stealth for reconnaissance or something like that and this, that's true in in real life too oh that looked really painful but apparently i'm fine i'll take it uh no it's true in real life i mean i mean military commanders for for centuries and millennia have, have tried to use stealth because Again, you attack when you are strongest and when your enemy is weakest, and really, that is what you want. Very few people are like, you know, I think I'm going to wait until my enemy has a really good day, and then I'm just going to, you know, that's that's the day we're going to make war. No, you're like, oh, he's having a really good day. Let's leave it until tomorrow and see if we can't catch him on a worse morning, like when he's out of ice cream or, you know, had a crappy breakfast or something. That said, some do actually go for the strategy of you know, fight them when they're at their strongest. Really? Well, you know, these are the... Spartans don't count. Spartans have to count. Spartans don't count. They were a big part of warfare for hundreds of years, at the very least. And also stupid. Well, yeah. But they still won. Yes. I mean, it wasn't necessarily a bad strategy, as long as you were better than everyone else. Yes, but it relies on being better than everyone else. I mean, if you have your opponents completely outclassed, then obviously, obviously you are going to beat them. For, which actually leads into our next topic, which is powerful player characters. <laughs> Very good. Well, the, good segue that I totally didn't pick up on until right now. But Spartans still don't count. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, one of the great things about Arkham City is that whether you're Batman or Catwoman, you feel like a superhero. I mean, I dive in here. I just whoop these guys without any effort on my part. It mixes up the moves for me uh, so it looks like a cinematic free-flowing fight and as long as I, I spend a lot of time with the combat system in this so I'm actually pretty good at it except for <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Mid -air. Look! Shadow boxing is an important part of regular combat, alright? It's good for my cardio. I don't even... How, where, Jesus, man. Die! Someone else is still up. There you go. Because, yeah. I'm just going to whip him. Oh, oh, knife guy's coming. Knife guy. You don't have, a like, a claw or anything, do you? No, you got caltrips. Yeah, you can't just pull that guy towards you. Or... Oh, how do I beat the knife guy? Oh, I can... Oh, that, that's yes. how I beat the knife guy. Yeah, stun them and claw their eyes out. There, kick in the head. All right. Hey, and you but... got some loot back. What? That's Catwoman's thing after you beat the game. She's trying to get her loot back. But... Oh, yeah. I Oh, man. I didn't even remember. I was just like, here's an opportunity to 
beat people up as Catwoman. Yeah, well, you have the fancy jewel over his head. Uh, I think I actually need to turn back into Batman for the next part, though, so i got to find a spot for, to do that. And while I'm doing that, um, there it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, powerful PCs. I mean, this is one of the, uh, I think, a big problem with um, a lot of RPGs is that it's hard to make people feel powerful and actually, and also have it be meaningful. So I am about to run right in it. Ow, ow, ow. So, ow. for instance, he just ran right into gunfire and fell down. Yeah, well, all right. I'm not bulletproof. I'm not Superman. I'm Catwoman. Yeah, actually, as Catwoman, that probably would have done a fair bit more damage. Also, if she's I just apparently a leather suit. I apparently can't climb. Uh, no, you know, cats can't climb. They're not known for that. <laughs> God damn it! I just want to get on the roof. <laughs> this this is truly embarrassing. Shut That's up. not even the right roof. I'm pretty sure. What? <laughs> pretty sure you're at the wrong spot. Good. All right. Anyway, it's over there. can you tell that? Yeah, this is going to be a thing. Yeah. Powerful VZs. Um, I have this. I have this issue a lot. In in uh, the game I run most often is three point five D and D, and I mean PCs don't just become powerful in three point five; they become gods. Like they become ridiculously unstoppable, and it's really hard to challenge characters like that and give them meaningful challenges. I mean, comic books have the same problem with with guys like Superman. I mean, it's hard to give Superman a meaningful challenge without taking his powers away, which is why in pretty much every movie, a Superman movie ever, they find a way to take his powers away. Or just have him kill at the end anyway, and thus ruin the whole character. I haven't seen that movie, and shut up. Alright, can I skip this? Nope, no, I cannot skip I, this. I'm pretty sure you can, actually. All right. Escape? No. No, no can't skip it. Alright, well, there's Batman. He's hanging out. Yep. They're, it's like they're, I've they're, been, uh, they're gonna do their thing now. They're gonna... Doing my... Give my Batman a cure. Glare each other a little bit. Catwoman's gonna go lick her wounds. Really? What? I hate you so much. But I mean, Batman is the the archetypal example. I think of a powerful character. I mean, he is a beast. He is smarter than everyone. He is stronger than most people. I mean, it's Batman the, wins pretty much every fight. He's essentially stronger than every person, unless they have you know a superpower. For instance, this guy. I mean. And if you take a look at him, well, it's outside, okay, man. I know first aid. Outside of detective vision, these are not small dudes. No, these are big dudes. If you ran into any one of these guys on the street, you'd be a little worried. Um, well, mostly because they're wearing masks with like half them melted off and a baseball bat or a knife or something. Yeah, but yeah, you know, even beyond that, they're built guys. If they wanted to mug you, you would give them your wallet. We're gonna head over to the courthouse for we're on top of the courthouse apparently. So, um, as you can tell, I'm super good at understanding the key bindings in this. It's been a little while, so. But, I mean, in this, you can face down 10 or 20 or, you know, 30 guys sometimes. I'm just trying to find some. There'll be um, some on the other side of the bridge there. Ryan knows what he's doing. This is why he's here. Oh, yeah, they're there. Yeah. Big, hey guys. big crowd of guys. I mean, I'm like, oh, here's, here's like, what, 10 guys? Oh, he's doing push-ups. I want to help you with your workout. That's that's why I'm here. Um, because really, these guys are already in jail, and I'm just beating them up for no reason. Yeah, it does. I mean, raise a bit of a moral quandary. I mean, is it right to just attack the? I mean, those guys were literally just hanging out. Yeah, he was doing push-ups. I mean, they they start doing enough dastardly things when they're in here that it's bam know, sort of okay. A combo. I mean, they kill some cops who are... No, 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 I think you, you need to understand that I... The reason why I need to beat those guys up, 26 hit combo. I realize in the world of Batman, that's actually not a lot. But the point is, yeah, 10 guys, whatever, I'm Batman. Yeah, didn't phase him. No, I mean, I can have a conversation while beating up guys, and it's no problem. And I, I love I love that feeling, the, the confidence that comes with that. I mean, that is a feeling that I want players to have when their characters are powerful. Because that is that is the entitlement of being powerful. Of the, oh, this this thing which would be challenging for other people is just not a big deal. But at the same time, there are still big deals for Batman in this. I mean, he is not bulletproof. He's bullet resistant, but not bulletproof. Bulletproof Batman would be awesome. That well, would make this game so much better. Well, it would make it so much easier in well, any case. Probably, yeah. Actually, now that I think about it. Oh, that guy. 
Oh, oh, there, there's a big thing in the way. Oh, I did not realize there was a gap here. Um, yeah. So you know, you can ledge take down. Can I? I don't yeah, think. Oh, right yeah, there, there we go. Through. Yeah, come here, on, come go. on, ledge. Aha! And there he goes. But yes, these fellows with guns, for example, you can't just run up to ten of them, beat them up. Well, okay, this is easy mode, so you can actually. Yeah, I can, and I'm about to. Like, this is going to be a thing. Oh, God! Although it breaks up your combo, so it is actually sort of... It's harder, at the very least. And we're, if this was a harder difficulty oh, setting, he would be dead. Bullets! He would be dead already. He might actually <laughs> die before we're done this conversation. Shut up! I mean, but no, I mean, I mean, even even with these guys who are armed with assault weapons, you know, I've got enough gadgets and whatnot to run over them and just punch him in the head as he picks up his gun. See, not a good idea, man. Guns not safe. Fists safe. I stand triumphant. Meanwhile, he is laying on the ground, along with all his friends. This is why I love Arkham Asylum. Oh man. Yes, it does definitely give you that feeling of power. This is not Arkham Asylum. This is Arkham City. But, you know what? Same basic thing. They added a few new bells and whistles. Well, and a giant city. Well, yes. Also, I am really looking forward to Arkham Origins. I haven't pre-ordered it yet, but I'm going to. Because this is really making me want to play it. Hey, guess what? I'm Batman. I'm going to moonwalk. I'm just over here. Oh man. Um There, there you go. How can I not no I, I I didn't knock you out with plastic explosive? Well, you know, they have to be delicate enough not to kill them. Is there Oh also, god, oh god bullets. At you. <laughs> Why am I in detective vision all of a sudden? Because you hit detective vision? <laughs> Everything is obscured. If it's any consolation, my view is is just as bad as yours right now. This seemed like such a good idea when I started it. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, we talked about stealth, we talked about powerful PCs, yeah. Like I said, this is, a, I think the way to do this is, I like to do it with small groups of, you know, weak to middling, to middling weight enemies. Oh god, more bullets. Your standard yeah. mook. Essentially. Well, you know, I, it depends on the mook. I mean, I guess, I guess classes of mook go up as you as you gain levels, but well, yes, but you need something that you can take out with relatively. Yeah, I mean, fourth ed did this really well, I think, with with minions. minions. It added this level of of cinematic combat. Uh, Spirit of the Century is another game that does it really well because it differentiates between sort of mooks and henchmen or or characters like that. I don't know why I keep switching to Detective Vision. Not that I don't understand the key bindings, but just because I keep tapping Detective Vision for some reason. Um, Nervous switch. I might be brain damaged. I'm not sure. He also had a run-in with Batman earlier, so... Yeah. Batman gave me some great safety tips. Um, I will relay them to some some thugs right now, assuming I can find any, which I apparently can't. I have cleaned up Gotham City. I have succeeded. I have beaten this game. You, yes, there you go. Well, you clean up Arkham City. I mean, Gotham is still riddled with crime. I've also forgotten the other thing we were going to talk about. Uh, we were going to talk about auto captures. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and there's why a great spot right there. That's why I needed to be Batman, and the spot is right here. This is the other thing. I mean, and this is a real challenge with 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 any PC, but especially powerful PCs. So first, I'm going to go down and beat up beat up those guys because it's important for reasons. Um, I mean, these 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 moves are the perfect example, and, ba and Batman balances these out with. People who are mooks, but are tactically interesting mooks. So, for example, I'm pretty sure a knife guy, no, bat, just uh, came up over the edge. There is a knife guy around here, so if you keep beating up the lesser henchmen, one will arrive. I don't actually know what's going on here. <laughs> um, oh, there's apparently a knife guy somewhere. Someone had a knife because I've got the uh, tutorial tip for it. But Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Yeah, there he is. Knife guy. Now you, there's, there's a so, whole, there's a whole thing you're supposed to knife. Okay, well knife guy's a little. The point stuck. is that tactically interesting mooks, I think, are the way to go. Is that you can have there's a there's there's a distinction between having a character who's just a meat wall, 
who just takes a lot to kill. Yeah, I'm and really this bad. This one takes at the some blade. skill in order I'm really to get bad at the blade dodge. Or you just punch him in the face. But yes, yeah, if you did the blade him. dodge, you you know, it's a triple counter. You go back, 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 and then when he lunges another time, you hit him in the face and take his knife away from him. Yeah. So it's great. Um but yeah, but it, it can it can it can be a real well, it can be a real challenge, I find. <coughs> I mean, because especially when you get into fantasy gaming, where you or you know, or even I guess contemporary gaming, where you've got like grenades and whatnot or fireballs or whatnot, you can you they, you can mop up mooks pretty quickly. And that is something to think about. I I like to stack an encounter on top of uh, encounters on top of each other just to do it in phases. But the third thing we want to talk about is this this box right here. Oh, Batman. Close that's up. that's just Batman's shoulder. Oh, yeah. Look at that stubble. Look at that stubble. Also, I'm going to fucking level, level up just so I can get rid of that. Um, I have most of the upgrades. Except for the except for the body armor, because Batman doesn't need body armor. You may want to get the ballistic armor. You keep getting shot out of it. <laughs> get the ballistic armor. <laughs> Fine. Batman doesn't get shot. Batman doesn't get shot. You get shot, though. Look, that's not important. Anyway, um, which is auto captures, um, being taken prisoner, you know, the, the having all your stuff taken away, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, is a really interesting thing to have happen in stories. Yes. It happens all the time with all kinds of characters, and has been happening forever. Uh, Odysseus got captured several times. Several times, mostly by women who he then slept with. Captured by ladies, their worst problems to have, but. I mean, the problem with that in the in the context of a role playing game is, or even a, a video game, is that you you remove agency when you do it, I and mean, your players or your, your aren't in control of their PCs anymore. I mean, much like this, I, I take the cure, and now I'm just here. I didn't make a choice about that. I didn't know it was going to happen. I didn't have any indication that it was going to happen, although really I probably could have, should have suspected it. But I mean, this happens like three or four times in Arkham City that I can think of off the top of my head. Yeah. And this one, I mean, Alfred gave you a call and said that this was here, so it, it seemed legit. Yeah. You know, they finished synthesizing a cure. All is well. And, well, it turns out you're now at a tea party with a bunch of guys in rabbit masks, and... Uh, yeah, it happens. Well. And I don't... I think the easiest way... <laughs> To to do an auto capture is to not. I mean, not in the sense that never have PCs get captured, never have, but negotiate with players. I mean, what players want to know is that you are interested in preserving their agency. What they want to know is that you know all that stuff that they worked really hard for. Are they going to be able to get that back? I mean, because sometimes it's just a way of removing things from people. Um, there's a and, yeah. I mean, you you could still do that if it you know. If there is something you really want to remove from them, well, I guess you can, but really you shouldn't have put that in the game in the first place if that's the case. Yeah, I mean, things happen, and again, even even that, it's it's. I think it's better to negotiate with the players rather than, than do something sort of underhanded. Yeah. I mean, I have no idea, actually, what I'm doing. I've never done this before. Uh, you're about to get freaked right the hell out because there's this. Oh, oh god. Yeah. Yeah. What is going on? Well, you know, you were captured by the Mad Hatter, so well, bad times. I'm gonna beat up guys, because uh, that's what I'm good at. Yeah. See, this is how Batman escapes from his issues um, yeah. in the context of this game. While there is some, you know, good detective elements to the game and everything, it still boils down to beat up dudes in order to win. Anyway, um... I'm going to beat up these guys, and I think we will see you in a couple weeks, where we will be playing a different game. We're in, we might do some full play stuff later, but for now, we are going to just beat up guys in rabbit masks, because that's a thing. Yeah. Gee, what? Well, go, guys, go away. No, they never stop. You just need to keep beating up the Mad Hatter as he appears. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for that, because otherwise I would have just kept doing it. Actually, no, I think I'm... You, you do have to just keep doing it. This is basically infinite. Uh, you can build up one hell of a combo eventually. Apparently. Um, but yeah, we're going to go. Uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks with a new game. 
Um, be sure to like and subscribe if you liked it. If not, you can probably still like and subscribe because why we both be disappointed. You know. Or for other reasons. But uh, Tuesdays for vlogging, Fridays for music, etc., etc. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Though I'd like to look down at the earth from above, I miss all the places and people I love. So although I might like it for one afternoon, I don't want to live on the moon.